Hey guys, it's uh, Scott here at What a Mess Railroad. I figured it was time to make a video, even though I was supposed to make it, gee, probably a week ago. But you know me, always behind. Just wanted to show my uh, latest purchase. Actually, Cora bought it for my birthday, but I got it early. Uh, the Rapido uh, Dome Car. And I have it connected to my Rapido Observation Car. And uh, they've been made, I guess, quite a year apart. And they look pretty well similar. So Rapido does a good job matching up uh, oh yeah, come apart, thank you. Uh, paint. And the detail is crazy. I guess apparently there's something like uh, 300 uh, parts in this crazy thing. So if a part falls off, you never know what it belongs to. You can see you know, trucks and boxes. And, <clears throat> and here on the other side, the... Uh, fans. I don't know how well this has come out. Hard to see for me. And it's got uh, blinds and you know more piping you know what to do with. It's just insane the amount of uh, detail that's put into these. And I actually finally got something that didn't fall apart when I bought it. Woohoo! I shouldn't say that because probably something will happen <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, I was trying to work on that uh, CN there, Genesis, uh, Atherin Genesis. Yeah, nothing ever goes right. Mm. Get the LEDs in it, and uh, the rear ones don't work. Uh, couldn't change out the ditch lights because the guy prior to me, because it's used, uh, glued everything like there was no tomorrow. So I might have to get some glue debonder and see if I can change it and then take it apart and redo it again and I went to the uh, hobby shop and picked up some of these IHC uh, interiors for the uh, blue uh, via cars of course the ones I pick up I don't have any of them I've got everything except the ones I picked up just my luck you know how things go and I also picked up uh, these pike stuff uh, interlocking walls they were used cheap there's uh i guess they were quite old looks of the packaging no oh, i still have it yeah doesn't look like it was uh, made yesterday and uh there's two sizes there was four to a pack so it wasn't too bad not sure what i'll use them for but they'll come in handy uh, I did clean this desk up to make a video last week, and, uh, oop, it's shaking around. That didn't work out too well. Oh, yeah, well, I was also there that day. I picked up these, uh, car loads. And, uh, wood loads. Even though I think I've only got one gondola. So, uh, yeah, may have to pick up some of them. Uh... And I also picked up the uh, switch to go into here, since I had temporarily the switch going that way. So I picked up the correct switch. Track is uh, all glued in and set. And then, of course, I tried to uh, have a train running for you guys. And the uh, since I changed everything over, I didn't have the bus wire in. So I put the bus wire in. And because of the way I did all the switches and everything... Yeah, every time it came to a switch, it died. Because I have insulation, uh, insulated connectors and stuff. So I did run a few feeders, like probably about a dozen. Still not enough. So yeah, i got to finish that off and probably spend about two days cleaning just to run it. I know there was something else I picked up. I've been uh, here lately making uh, Ron's LEDs. Got about 50 of the 603s done so far, and uh, a dozen 402s. Kind of going blind and cross-eyed doing that. I know there was something else I picked up, and do you think I can think what it was in this mess? Oh, oh yeah, and also, speaking of Ron, uh, 
I picked up two of his TCS WOW diesel decoders and another Tsunami uh, decoder. So now it's another three sound decoders I have to put in. So yeah, see how bad I can screw up the LEDs when I put that in. Uh, and of course also putting the uh, um, feeders in. I use these barriers which are strips and I ran out of those. And then I was working and I ran out of those. And then I ran out of butt connectors. It's like one after the other. I just kept running out of his things. Um, picked that up, but like I said, ordered the bus uh, things from China. So it'll take a month to get here or so. And today I was working on this here. I just got the, uh, the wood all cut out and put in and the foam's on here drying. So that'll just leave me to wire this up properly. That was also the other problem, the train wouldn't want to go over this correctly. And uh, yeah, put the feeders in, get this all drilled out and stuff for the next day or two. And also, when I connected the bus, I had a short. So you can just imagine how fun it is to find a short going all the way around here. Because I put in a ton of switches didn't check each switch, of course, because nothing was hooked up, so I put them all in. And the switch way down by the tower, water tower down here, I actually forgot to uh, cut one of the PC ties. One little tiny spot. But I found it, so that cleared up the short. And uh, I think that's it for now. I haven't done a whole lot. Uh, I haven't done a whole lot with anything. Uh, the house this summer was terrible with the humidity. And for the last four weeks, my back has been in such pain. I just haven't been able to do anything. So hopefully in the next little bit, I can get some stuff done to the house and stuff done to the trains. So this has been taking up uh, probably seven minutes, eight minutes. So I guess that's about it for now, guys. Uh, until next time, we'll uh, talk to you later. Bye.